guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jade nicole if this is your first time here and before we jump into today's video if you could subscribe to my channel that would be greatly appreciated thank you <laughs> um so today as you can see by the title we're gonna be talking about brazilian waxes versus laser hair removal for the brazilian area um because brazilian waxes is something that women do um or prefer to do over shaving there's different ways to remove pubic hair um and then you just find your preference so traditionally most people shave um with that you can get razor bombs ingrown hairs um it tends to get darker once you shave and that may be like um what do you call that an insecurity of yours but so brazilian waxes and laser hair removal are alternatives to shaving and i would never recommend uh, using nair because it burns please do not use nair so with a brazilian wax brazilian wax is just like how you wax your eyebrows you wax your brazilian area laser is more intricate in its technique and it uses a laser but there's also with my laser hair removal place they use like a i would like to call it like a tube that blows out cool air so it doesn't burn they use gel um so we'll get more into that as we discuss the whole process for laser hair removal um i just want to start off by saying the prices for each um brazilian waxes range from 55 50 to 55 dollars from my opinion i usually go to the wax center the european wax center because i feel like they're more reputable they're gonna know what they're doing um they just are the european wax center they're known for waxing so why not go to the best person possible for getting your brazilian wax because it is a sensitive area so it's like 50 55 dollars if you buy like the packages someone's calling me it's my boyfriend hold on sorry about that guys my boyfriend has been calling me off and on all day don't know why but as the nice loyal girlfriend i am i always answer but getting back to our brazilian waxes and our laser hair removal so there's different steps that you have to take in order to get the the procedure done so for brazilian wax i know you can't shave for like two weeks which is one of my concerns if you're someone who is more sexually active or do just doesn't like hair down there um that's just like a red flag for me like i just personally just it just i just don't want nothing down there you know so like and i also feel like dirty if you like have hair down there. that's my personal preference so i just feel like that was a red flag for me but it makes sense because in order for you to get a brazilian wax you need to have hair for the wax to latch on to so you can pull it out of your follicle so you can't shave for two weeks minimum two weeks depending on how your hair grows if your hair grows slow three weeks so keep that in mind before you get a brazilian wax and for laser hair removal you have to not have gotten a brazilian wax for like two three weeks and but the, the best part about that is that you're supposed to shave right before you go so 12 between 12 and 24 hours before your appointment you're supposed to shave which I love because it doesn't allow, it's not, you don't want it in between stage. You don't want a bushy, like, vagina. Like, you just want it how you like it. So, I like it bald. And I just feel like with a laser hair removal, it allows you to maintain yourself and still get the procedure done. So, that's one of the pros for getting laser hair removal. And then, with getting the actual procedure done for Brazilian wax, it is extremely 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 painful i have a low tolerance for pain like i literally cry when i get needles i don't have any tattoos but like i just know the brazilian area is a very sensitive area and to have someone put hot wax on it and rip it off for of you is a little bit too much personally and it's like a 30 minute procedure 20 to 30 minutes depending on your technician specialist so with that being said it's like they i liked when my brazilian waxer she like would put the wax down and then she would lift it and tell me to breathe in and when i breathed out she would rip it so i would feel less pain but it was still very painful and with that whole procedure 
Sometimes they have to go in with tweezers. Sometimes they can't get everything because some hair may be finer than the others. And it's just a lot. It's just a lot. But with the Brazilian wax, it usually does include your butthole if you're hairy down there. Most people are. And that part is the easiest part. So just keep that in mind. This is very painful. It's very, very painful. If you've got one done, salute you. Guys probably could never because it's so painful. But with laser, it's... So my laser has progressed over the past six months or so. So when I first went to get my first laser appointment, like I said before, you do have to shave right before you go. Um, and then once you go into the room, they have they have like a, a vacuum tube thing that blows out cold air so when they're lasering you and it like burn is burning your hair follicles it it's like cooling it down so you don't really feel any pain so that was one thing that i loved because i the brazilian wax was just not cutting it for me sorry can't do it but like with the laser no pain i was like you like get startled by like the sensation but it wasn't a hurting sensation it did not hurt at all and then like right after they do that they put like a gel which allows them to go like they'll actually touch your skin and then they'll go over it but the gel is so cold that you don't feel any of it at all like there's zero zilch pain when dealing with laser hair removal and so then once you proceed throughout the process you they increase the the heat that they penetrate you with so that by the time you're finished or that's the hope by the succession that you don't need to come back and but sometimes certain people depending on your hair type your hair color how hair how fast your hair grows back you may need more and they usually give you deals for staying with them and getting more laser hair removal but there's no pain at all and i remember like it's just like a phenomenal process and i just love laser hair and i'm like not trying to be like laser hair laser hair everyone needs to go it's just worked for me and like I remember after the first session like the hairs will still grow and like literally I can pull them out like this my bare hands you wipe when you use the bathroom hairs falling out that's how quick it does work loved it so then after you get like your treatment done the next the next time you get the next treatment for Brazilian wax they say like four weeks depending on your hair growth but four weeks is standard and in between those, the time you got your treatment done and the next appointment, your hair will grow back. And that's like the in-between stage. They say when you get to a point, if you're getting it so much, it won't grow back or it'll be minimal grow back. But I've never seen that ever with, with Brazilian waxes. I felt like it would always grow back and I don't like to have an in-between stage. I like to be kept neatly. And with that being said, with that being said, I like to be kept neatly, and I just don't like the in-between stage. That's why Brazilian waxes weren't for me. So just keep that in mind that you're not supposed to shave or do any removal treatment in between your Brazilian wax treatments. Okay? And then with laser hair removal, you're still allowed to shave because the hair is going to grow, and then you just shave it. It may grow less or it may grow thinner, but it's going to grow back, but you're allowed to shave to keep it nice and neat or how you like it, which I loved. So that's another benefit for laser hair removal. So I think that's laser hair removal four and Brazilian zilch zero. And I think overall the experience that I've had with laser hair removal versus the experience I had with Brazilian wax. If you're someone who likes to be kept neat, if you don't like any hair down there, if you just are getting Brazilian waxes and you've been getting them for so long then I feel like you need to switch over to laser because you can pay the same amount of money and have your hair never grow back. They say sometimes it may go back depending on your hormones and stuff like that, like bodily changes, like if you get pregnant and stuff like that. But still, like, I don't plan on getting pregnant anytime soon. So, like, this is like an investment so that I don't have to worry about shaving or waxing and all the other stuff that comes with your how you keep your Brazilian area so and that's all I have to say like you guys should check out some Brazilian hair spots look at the reviews go on Groupon you can get a lot of good deals out there and it's really a painless experience painless experience 
So if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. I know this is like a weird topic to do it on, but I feel like I get a lot of questions from people that I work with and they just want to know, like, does it work? Does it hurt? Like, all the specs about getting it done. So I said, why not make a YouTube video? So like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.